Hello everyone, you are welcome to the Lara Studios. My name is Oguntu Gebamadili. I'll be taking you, I'll be your host for this session, which is basically on how to generate a signed APK. Before I proceed, I'd like to introduce the environment to you. This is the Android Studio 1.0.1, .1, which is running on the Windows machine 32 bits. If you can see, we have different functionality. We have different tabs. We have different so many things on the um, on the, on the Android Studio environment. I'll quickly take a brush on some of them. We have the, the structure, which is by the left corner. We have the project. We have the build variant, the favorites. We have the commander, the Marvin project, the gradu, and on the tabs, we have the file, the edit, the view, the navigate, the code, the analyze. Refactor, build, run tools, VCS, window, and help. All these has their own different functionalities, which is going to make a full app, you know, make you to build a robust and, and, and have a full app for production. But for this lesson, I'm going to just you know, be streamlining to, you know, to the topic of, of this moment, which is basically on how to generate a signed APK. And the, by generating a side APK, you must first of all generate uh, a sort of key store, which is going to now wrap around the APK like a certificate, which is going to authenticate the APK. And the essence of this is just that before your app can move from production, from 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 the development arena up to the, the stores, which is the Google Play Store, it must have gone through a sort of signature, a sort of you know, authentication, just to know that this is actually a signed app and this is done you know you know your app is being uploaded from the google developer console from there it circulates you know to the to the google play and before the google developer console will actually accept the app you know for for publish it must have gone through a sort of you know signing which is what i would like you know to put across to you now and before you, you know embark on this, you must have been rest assured that okay, your app is ready, you know, it's, it's fully functional, you've checked everything, you debug where necessary, you've you you've done so many inputs and outputs in it, you know, and you feel that okay, your app is ready to go out to the stores. And it's not just only when you want to release your app, that's when you have to sign. You can as well do it anytime you feel like. I think the most convenient and the most appropriate time of you know generating a key and signing it up with your application is when you feel the app is ready and fully functional to go to the stores. Now I have a project here now which is called the Fragment Basics. It's just a, 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 a short introduction of how to use a fragment in the Android you no know, uh, application. I've, I've done some things here and there on it, and our file is ready. And it's you know it's ready to to be signed and probably ready to go to stores. So I would like to uh, you know apply this on on this application. First of all, we there are some steps we have to follow in order to achieve this. We have to move to the build variant, which is the first step. As a build variant by the left corner. As you can see, we have the module, we have the build variant, the app, and the debug. Definitely, the app is in a debug mode, which you have to change to the release mode. Once you have the release mode at hand, the Grady console will try to re reconfigure or the rebuild the app, you know, just to have a rebuild app. But that's not only what we will do. We have to move to the build tab. We have to click on the generate signed APK, which is this is a sort of wizard. The wizard simply makes a process with you know, where we pass through in order to achieve a result. So we have the key store part. You have the key store password, the alias, the password, all these fields must be fully filled. But you can as well, probably you have assigned a, 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 um, a key store somewhere which you've generated. You can use it with this, fine. But I is highly recommended that you generate a new, a new, a new, a new, a new key store to your application. So we move to the create new. There should be a part which the key store will be, you know, will be saved into. You know, it must be saved somewhere, which is the part we have to like create. I'll 
like to create it in the desktop environment of my machine I'll quickly dash down to the desktop environment okay I think I should be in the desktop I'm here to be taken there okay so I create a new folder and call it fragment fragment underscore key store so I go back to my Android studios and search for that same folder which is situated in my desktop fragment just have okay that's it there so I have to name the the key stars to give it a name which I will also call a fragment I think that's okay fragment so I click on OK so we have the full part to where the key store will be saved I'll move to the password I have to confirm the password there must be an alias for this um, key store development or key store building and the alias simply means just like a nickname you are trying to assign to it so I'll call it a fragment key store you must remember all this probably if you want to use the same key store to sign up on another app but as I've said earlier that is not recommended for you to you know to use the same key store for all apps is always very good to generate a, you know a unique key store for and help so you have to give it the password I have to confirm the password so we have the validity of the of the key store which is 25 years by default that was a very long time but I would like to add it to 30 I wonder what Android would have turned to by 30 years from now which is 2015 <laughs> so the first name I have to fill in the certificate tabs you know, we have so many things to fill here so I'll, put, I'll, I'll fill of the first name which is Jones Peters Jones the first name and Peters the last name the organizational unit I call it the software development the organization itself which is Delaware Studios the city the city of Lagos the state Lagos the country code two three four so you click on OK. OK. So the fields have been filled. Click on Next to generate our Kisto. Finish. So pending that, let's quickly look at the folder which we created earlier. We can find that the key store has been actually created the fragment of JKS that's the key as a key which you can have as, as 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 a hard copy you know you can easily use it for another application if you like so now from the pop-up on the Android studio is that the signed APK is generated successfully so now we have had a signed APK that has actually been generated successfully so with this now we should be happy that the process has been done successfully and we cannot proceed with the applic uh, with the APK to the Google Play Store you know and there's also some process for you before you can actually launch 
your app fully you know it's going to pass through the developer console which you actually set up with a once payment of up to like like 25 dollars you know from there google will give you a sort of environment for you to upload your you know your apk for you to bring in some of the screenshots little uh, little little um, introduction about the app and you publish it from there you can even you have you can debug it on the fly at the same time you can also you know push an update to your application probably by changing one or two things and also pushing the update by changing also the version code and the version name so we can as, as actually show in, in, in the explorer you know want to see how the release node or, or the release mode of the apk so let's show it in explorer which is going to definitely be in the android studio projects folder so as we can see you can actually see that the, our app has actually been written as release which is ready to go so with this now i can just take it up from here take it straight to the uh, google developer console and launch it fully you know as a signed and authenticated app so with this few analogy with this few response i think we've actually covered a lot in how to generate a signed apk and i believe my team in france can also just do as i've you know actually analyzed and showed on to them and they will definitely achieve a wonderful experience with the use of the android studios i will say thank you very much for for now and just catch me up in uh, my next next my next uh, lesson thank you